Over the past weeks, we have continued to answer the question, how can you play the circle game so you are guaranteed to win? After a while, we determined as a class that the person who starts wants there to be an odd number of pennies at the end of the game. So let me show you an example of this. So let's say this was a penny game. So as player one, I played the first penny, so odd. Player number two plays the second penny, so even. Player one, player two. Player one, player two. And let's say there's one more penny to go, then this winning penny, the last penny, would be penny number seven. So the player one would play an odd number last. Same goes for even. So if you are the player number two, you want an even number penny to be last played. So in this case, let's say there's one more penny and player number two is laying. This would be the eighth penny, the last one laid, and they would win. So after this, we kind of transition to a deeper level of understanding about how to win the game. So there are many theories that our class came up with, but ultimately we figured that out that in order to win the penny game, you must be the first player um, and you must play your first penny in the middle. And then once player two lays the penny, then your penny that you lay should mirror that penny. So looking at this example, so let's say I'm player number one. So I play it in the middle. Okay, player number two then would put their penny somewhere random, let's say right here. As player number one, then I should play my penny drawing a line through the middle one opposite right here. Or another way to say this is 180 degrees. So you would just keep doing that and ultimately the spaces would fill up and you would play an odd number every time. So, Because even though these are paired, you will always play the odd number because of this penny in the middle. And that's how you solve the circle game.